friend. Tell God, Father, we thank you for this appointed time of worship. Thank you for this day that we have set aside, has been set aside as Independence Day. But we realize that we are all dependent on you. Yes. And we thank you for the true freedom that we have through faith in your darling Son, our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. We are ever mindful of that fact. Now we pray that you would just send a word that would encourage and inspire and help someone this morning on their journey. Pray that you would have your servant behind the cross and allow your children to see more of me and less of me. And even as God will decrease, let Christ increase. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in our sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And everyone says, Amen. 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 Happy Independence Day. Amen. Uh, Exodus chapter 8. And we'll read verses, y'all please stand. We'll read verses 5 to 15. Exodus, from the original King James text, Exodus 8, 5 to 15. And the Lord spake unto Moses, say unto Aaron, stretch forth thine hand with thy rod over the streams, over the rivers, and over the ponds, and cause frogs to come up upon the land of Egypt. And Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. And the magicians did so with their enchantments, and brought up frogs upon the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and said, Entreat the Lord that he may take away the frogs from me and from my people, and I will let the people go, that they may do sacrifice unto the Lord. And Moses said unto Pharaoh, Glory over me, when shall I entreat for thee and for thy servants and for thy people? to destroy the frogs from thee and thy houses, that they may remain in the river only. And he said, Tomorrow. And he said, Be it according to thy word, that thou mayest know that there is none like unto the Lord our God. And the frogs shall depart from thee, and from thy houses, and from thy servants, and from thy people, and they shall remain in the river only. And Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh, and Moses cried unto the Lord because of the frogs which he had brought against Pharaoh. And the Lord did according to the word of Moses, and the frogs died out of the houses, and out of the villages, and out of the fields. They gathered them together upon heaps, and the land stank. But when Pharaoh saw that there was respite, he hardened his heart, and hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had said. Thank you, you may be seated. Old verses in mind, perhaps other passages of scripture. Look at verses 9 and the 8 portion of verse 10. And Moses said unto Pharaoh, Glory over me. When shall I entreat thee? When shall I pray for thee? And for thy servants, and for thy frogs, for thy people, to destroy the frogs from thee and thy houses, that they may remain in the river only. And he said to Moro. I want to talk very briefly. This morning from the subject, Point More Night of Misery. All right. All right. It is, as already has been stated, Independence Day. Mm -hmm. But at the time of this text, God's people are being held captive as slaves in Egypt. And God has already, through his servant Moses, set about events that will bring about his people's deliverance out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And in fact, he would lead them through Moses to uh, the promised land. Right. Just as faith in Jesus Christ takes us out of captivity uh -huh. to sin yeah. so that we can walk forward in faith and never <coughs> in fear. All right. But Pharaoh, like so many people today, even folks who attend church on a regular basis, All right. 
He had a hard time acknowledging the fact that God reigns supreme. He's the one true God. And beside him there is none other. He rules. He super rules. And he even over rules to bring about his predetermined purpose. Moses had appeared before Pharaoh before with a message from God. Even though Pharaoh resisted, Moses kept faithfully declaring the message. And that's good news for preachers. If people don't receive it, that doesn't mean you didn't preach a good message. People are just not inclined to hear it. You got to have ears to hear in order to really receive what God is giving them to you. So I've learned a long time ago, and I thank God for my job is just to preach. Amen. Uh, and preach it truthfully, correctly, All right. and faithfully. Because some folks just don't resist anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And our job is to declare the I message yeah. faithfully. Mm -hmm. But what does it what does it take for the servant to please the master is that he be found faithful. faithful. Not overdoing it. Not lagging behind, right, but right. faithfully doing whatever it is that God has saved you and rescued you, you to do. Amen. Now, here's what the message was. It's real simple. He said, Pharaoh, my God, it says this right there in verse 2, I believe it is. He said, Pharaoh, my God told me to tell you, let my people go. Let my people go that they may serve me. Now, now, we all know the first part. We love to tell folks. Let my people, this is verse 1 actually, mm -hmm. let my people go. We get that part. <laughs> but you got to get the rest of it. Right. Let my people go that they may serve me. Right. Don't, don't let them go so they can just walk around doing right. anything and everything All they right. want to do. Preach they have a, a, a service involved. Yes. You see, when God rescues you, he rescues you for serving. When he saves right. you, he saves you for we serving. Serve. When he delivers you, he delivers you for serving. God Amen. demands he desires and he deserves the praises of yes. his people. Amen. So I've made up my mouth since Andrew that I can I praise him by myself. I tell him every morning right. and I stand in the signal because that's what I need. But if you want to join me, it's all right. Yeah. I will bless the Lord at all oh, times. Right. His praise shall right. continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast yeah. in the Lord. The Amen. humble ship hear the Lord and be glad. Oh, come and back and find the Lord with me. Let's exalt his name together. Yes, you see, when you learn how to pray for the church, you won't be <laughs> want to spend not another night My God, in this room. And Pharaoh, Pharaoh rejected God's command once again. And he was warned about the plague mm -hmm. of the frogs. My That's what verses 1 through 5 is about. Mm -hmm. Moses, go and tell Pharaoh, uh -huh. I'm giving him another chance. That you're going to get 10 chances. Give another chance. Mm -hmm. Tell him to let my people go my people so that they can serve, serve me. He said, if they refuse, mm -hmm. I will smite all the borders with frogs. And the river shall bring forth frogs abundantly, verse 2 said, which mm -hmm. shall go up and come into thine house all right. and into thy bed chamber and into thy bed chamber and upon thy bed mm -hmm. and into the house of thy servants and upon thy people, and into thine others, and into the needed troughs, and the frogs shall come up both on thee, and upon thy people, and upon all thy servants. In other words, everything, all right. All right. All right. everything is going to feel the negative effect of these frogs. Just as he warns us all the time. The wages of sin is death. Death the information. But the gift of God, that's a choice you got to make, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So you can choose to live by faith in Christ or die the old way you please. Pharaoh, just like somebody going to another one today, he ignored God's message and the plague of the frogs began. Yes, he, 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 he didn't pay him any attention. And then Pharaoh ignored the warnings of Moses and Aaron. And Aaron lifted up his rod over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs, the plague of the frogs, began to happen. Mm. Scripture tells us that there were frogs everywhere. Everywhere in Egypt, there was not one area that 
that was not affected by the frogs. The presence of the frogs in Egypt is an illustration of sin and its results in every area of our lives. Right. There's not one area of our lives that is not affected uh -huh. negatively or impacted uh -huh. by sin. Mm -hmm. The frogs were kind of indicative of what sin does. It's all invasive. It, 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 it's yeah. everywhere. All right. It'll permeate your whole household. Yeah. It'll permeate your body. It'll yeah. permeate your neighborhood. Uh -huh. The whole world will be a lot of yeah. Yeah. Yes, it will. Well, there are frogs everywhere. And then Pharaoh did like so many of us tried to do. He went to his own devices. He told his magicians, frogs are everywhere. Go out and deal with the frog problem. So they went out, and all they did was what? Created more frogs. All right. That is in verse 7. That created that more frogs. The magicians did so with their enchantments and brought up frogs right. upon the land of Egypt. Yeah. Right. They brought in more frogs. All right. Pharaoh called them in to get rid of the frogs. Uh -huh. It's always interesting to me when men try to accomplish with human effort from things are that only the power of God can accomplish. Yes, yes, yes the efforts of the magicians could only produce right. more frogs. Yes. And when a sinner try to work his way out of sin by himself, all right, all right. he can only produce more sin. More sin. Hey, yes, sir. Now, all the head was added to the problem. Now don't get me wrong, we live in this age of technology where a couple of fellows could drop out of college and then figure out the internet and make no money to fall to it all the way through all kinds of all right, all right. So man can do a lot of things. He can accomplish a lot of things. Lot of things. But, 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 but there's one thing mm -hmm, that man's effort would never be able to accomplish. He would never be able to overcome the real problem that plagues mankind. And we all know that that problem is sin. Mm -hmm. Yes, man is capable of learning a lot of things, and if they're receptive yeah. to it, you My can Lord. teach My man Lord. a lot of things and children. Okay. But Second Timothy 3 says, man is ever see. learning, All right. but missing the truth. Uh -huh. Yes, he's ever learning how to do things man's way. All right. But he fails to understand that the only way that man would get is the holy God. Yes, yeah. He's a loving God. Yes. But he's a faithful God. Faithful, so he gives everybody a chance to yeah, make it in yeah, because yeah. there's only one way. All right. And the only way uh, to live faithfully and successfully right. down here is the same way that you get into heaven and one must have faith in God's beloved Son, uh -huh. Jesus the Christ. Right. Saving faith. Yeah. Faith to believe when he said, Lord, I'll be with you always, oh, yeah. even till the end of the world. Faith to believe it when he said, I am the way, right. the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. If somebody at some point has to believe this to the point that it changes, it transforms your whole life. Amen. Preach, Ray. Preach. But here's the problem. It's right there in first, verse 10. Uh -huh. It's the procrastination of Pharaoh. Uh -huh. We are the same way. Uh -huh. We like to put things off All right. and do them when we want to do them. Oh, yes. Some folks want to come to church today, but it's a holiday. All right. They, they love the gift, yeah. but they have forgotten about the gift. Yeah. It's Amen. a holiday today. I come tomorrow. All right. Might not be here tomorrow. <laughs> okay. And we've been going yes. in mercy. And I wish today somebody would recognize what a precious thing uh, yeah, the gift of yeah. life is. Yes. Uh -huh. And if the problem in Egypt with the frogs, everywhere you look in the bedroom, frogs. In the kitchen, wrong. In the garden, yeah. wrong. In the government, wrong. Everybody turn around, wrong. Uh -huh. <laughs> My Lord, <laughs> oh, wrong everywhere. All right, man. As the problem got oh, increasingly yeah. unbearable, yeah. Pharaoh called Moses in to pray. And God, all right. Yeah. all right. No matter how big a heathen all right, now. a person might be, yeah. They used to have a good sense to recognize somebody right, uh, who's ahead, walking man. with God. Yeah. Uh, and when it gets unbearable, yeah. uh, even though they act like they don't know God, uh, they know somebody who knows God uh, and walks with God and they'll yeah. come to you and say, we can just pray. 
me. Right. Pray, pray, pray for pray. me. All right. Isn't God all right? Yes, all right. I don't find that many uh, that he has a problem uh, that only God can help them with. Right. Don't you know today that that's the sinner's perfect plea? My God. Understanding that no matter how much or how little that I have, uh, oh, only God can help me with my real problem. Uh, yeah. And that's my believing in God's only son. Yes. The sinner's perfect plea is recognizing that I can't get through this by myself. God yes, didn't design it for me I to know. get through by myself, but he designed it for me to know that he'll walk with me I and know. he'll talk oh, with me. Yeah, and if I just yeah. lean on him yeah. and depend yeah. on him, yeah. when I get where I can't go by myself, yeah. uh, he will yeah. carry me I got to have some help. help. That's why the songwriter said, just as I am, yes, without right. right. one plea. Yeah. But that God blood was shed for me, and then you invited me to come to me. Huh? Oh, man, oh, God, oh, I'll come. I'll come. I'll come. So Moses said, like any good believer would do, I will pray to God mm -hmm. about the frogs. But I'm going to let you pick the time. All right. I'm going to acknowledge that Moses, I have a servant of Almighty God. Jesus. But God put you in the place where you're a ruler. My I'm going to acknowledge the fact that you are there. I'm going to let you pick the time uh, yeah. mm. that you want me to uh, pray for. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. And then uh, Pharaoh gave uh, one of the strangest answers. Uh, right. Recorded in scripture. Father mm. said, You call me in. All right. Even after you get low by warnings. My low. But when, it, when you finally realize you couldn't get out of uh, right. by yourself, uh, yes. you call me that. in and ask me to pray. What I'm telling you right now, I, I will uh, call on my God. Hey, God. Because my God, my God. Uh, he is uh, All right, a mighty God. Yes, yes. We do you uh, want me uh, right. to pray for you? Right. And like so many folks that they will, I would let you pray today, but it's the 4th of July. Uh, my, my, my. Pray tomorrow. Yes. Thank God all right. Uh, yes, when I can share my experience with you, uh, when I sat in the doctor's office, Brother Davidson, uh, just he and I have a conversation, uh, and he told me some stuff I wasn't looking for, uh, yes. and didn't want to hear. Uh, yes. What does that mean? That what he said? Yeah, it's something in there. All right. Well, how much? Well, well you know, we got this, we got that. I didn't wait for tomorrow. Yeah. I tell you, yeah. yeah. I talked to the house. I start talking to my God. And he said, Well, you can call another yeah. doctor. You can call your nurse. I'm right. my brother's cancer nurse. But yeah. I know somebody else I can call. Oh, you want to put a make my mind on that right there, that offer right there, right there. Pray yeah. right there. Pray yeah. down the street right there. Yeah. This is what we're going to do. This is my life. And I'm not going to change it. I'm
One more night. One more. Here we go. One more. All right. One more. 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 One
church uh, deliverance uh, when that problems uh, are behind them uh, they forget uh, about God uh, and he all right uh, how easily uh, and how soon uh, we forget uh, about the goodness uh, of our God uh, and how much uh, he has done uh, for us uh, seems like the only time uh, we can remember uh, is when we're going to uh, and when he helps us uh, out of our uh, situation uh, we go on down the road uh, and forget uh, about God uh, it's amazing to me uh, and you can remember uh, some of y'all uh, how to get up uh, and go to work uh, remember what time uh, you go to be Remember what time the lunch break is? Remember what time you thought the clock out? And if you don't work, you remember what day that the check thought to hit the bank? You know it like the front and the back of your head. But you forget about the God who gave you the right time, the skill, the talent, the ability to go out. Earn income, let you lay down at night, wake you up in the morning, clothe in your right mind, but you forget who it all came from, forget who made it possible. Pharaoh hardened his heart, and people like that hardened their hearts to the spirit. Right now, don't wait till tomorrow. 
did. Oh God, uh, appointed time, uh, you procrastinate, went on up uh, into Jerusalem, uh, went on out uh, into the garden, uh, didn't wait uh, till the next day, uh, so Peter, James, and John, uh, stay here, uh, watch, uh, and wait uh, while I go yonder uh, and pray. Uh, Yeah. Woo! 
most felt that we hear from the camera? Ah, yeah. Uh, ah, yeah. most that we hear from the camera, the progression. Yeah. 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 Yeah.